Wafi to Sabine Sashana and Mary Sanella Kadeni today. I just want to dive in on the story of the United States of America increasing their interest rates by 25 basis point. If you've been watching our channel, I'm sure by now you do understand 25 basis point will be 0.25%. So, as to the reason why they use basis point, I have no idea, but I just basically believe they're trying to confuse us. Because 100 basis point will be 1%. Right? So I know a lot of you might say, but see, my interest rates as say America, as South Africa. So here's the thing, Babit. The US have the biggest economy in terms of GDP. And also, the United States have big companies around the world, including here in South Africa, that are operating and doing business. Right? So one of those companies is April. And another one will be Google, your Facebook, your Twitter, your KFC, your McDonald's. The list is endless. You can even go to uh, the motor industry. They have fought. Ne? So they have a lot of companies that are operating in South Africa. So if they are operating in South Africa, that means they are employing South Africans. So we can never see the interest rate if it's increasing in the US, it has nothing to do with us because we are in South Africa. Ne? Because we also have AMA relationships in terms of trading. You know, there are things that we need to buy from the US that we might not have. I think you guys are aware in South Africa, we are a country whereby we are not producing things. So that means we have to buy stuff from overseas to bring them to our side. Ne? So now one of the things that happens with the interest rate you know, when it increases in the US, our currency, it, it, it will depreciate, meaning it will lose E value, it will go down E rand you know, against the US dollar. So the US dollar will become stronger, the rand will become weaker when they increase their interest rate because one of the reasons is if the interest rate increases, the investors might rush with their money to the US because they want to cash in on the interest that is being increased. Remember, we told you on another video, guys, interest rate is when they increase easy or not or your debt. Basically, your car installment will increase when the interest rate is going up. Your bond, they call it mortgage, in the United States, your house, it will increase. If you took a loan from Mona or from Pep or wherever you took the loan, it also increases when your interest rate increases. Né? So when investors see that interest rates are being increased, this might be a bait for them to say, okay, let's run there so we can quickly make some money because the interest rates are high, you understand? So now, those are one of the things that we need to look at when they speak about the increase of the interest rate in the United States because they have big economy in the world, they have big companies, you know, one of their companies which is April, they have a market cap that is above a trillion US dollar. On those companies, you can add uh, Amazon, you can also add Google, all those are American companies making big money and making big impact around the world in terms of employing and providing employment to people around the world so doesn't matter whether you are in india you are in nigeria you are in kenya but the increase of interest rate in the united states might have a direct or indirect effect in you as an individual even though you are not in the us you've never been in the us but at the end of the day because of their position and the power that they have you know, they can have it can actually have an influence of you regardless of where you are. Also, with us having so many US companies that are providing employment to South Africans, you gotta understand if interest rate is increasing you know, in the United States, let's say these companies, they borrow money in the banks, from the banks in the United States. So now if the interest rate is increasing, that means they are interested, they are paying from whatever money that they have borrowed 
in those you expect, it's gonna increase. So when it increases, you cannot expect them to be growing. You cannot expect them to be employing more people because obviously with growth, it will come with employing more people. So at the end of the day, if McDonald is being financed by a bank there in the United States or KFC or whatever company that is from the US by operating in South Africa, they do get affected and you might end up seeing things like a much short times at your workplace. You might even see people getting retrenched because companies are trying to cut costs and balance their books. You understand? So otherwise, guys, I hope the video is informative and also will just share some light on some people who thought you know that they have nothing to do with my interest rates as the United States because they are here in South Africa, but not bearing in mind that you are actually working for an American company that is based in South Africa. Just like how we have companies here in South Africa like Abuma MTN, Abuma ShopRite, they have actually branched into the African continent and they have business there, they are employing people from that side, they are operating on those sides. Yeah? So how, how, however the South, Afri the South African economy is going or however the state of the South, Afri South African economy is, it will affect those South African companies. Yeah? Otherwise that's it, then I'll put a little bit here, there, like, subscribe to our channel and also share the video link to with the people that you think they might be interested in such information and also in the box to drop some comment and tell us what do you think about the video also we will appreciate you to tell us what we can improve on what we can add on or maybe any topic that you would like us to look into and also discuss in it otherwise in the box to please me by me is and invest and spend there's a reason why you will have to spend that money after you have invested in it that's